Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is David. Uh, this is uh, Soldiers in Christ. Um, uh, welcome back to my Bible study uh, that I, we, we, our Bible study. <laughs> if you're joining me, um, uh, just log on to my channel. You'll find it there. I made a, um, um, an invitation video. Um, I'm pretty sure you've seen it. Um, so, uh, without further ado, we're just going to get right into it. Amen. I'm still working out some things with, uh, with, uh, the visual and, and whatnot, but, uh, the main thing is that we, we, uh, get to this Bible study. So, um, let, let us pray before, um, dear Heavenly Father, uh, as we come before your Holy Presence, Lord, uh, we, we just, uh, we love your word. We, we love what you spoke through your prophets. And so may we learn. You are our teacher, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are our teacher. So I just pray that every eye that sees this and every ear that hears this, uh, your word being spoken, Lord, may it. Um, may you give them understanding. May you op open up our hearts to your word, Lord, Father God, so that you may be glorified and exalted and so that we may be able to uh share with others and prepare for this uh this coming this coming age lord father god for the end times and just to prepare uh all believers everywhere to make disciples lord father god and to to uh preach the good news lord father god to share the good news of your return lord so we pray over this bible study uh just be with us as we as we learn your word as we study your word and speak to us, Lord, Father God. In your holy and precious name, I pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. <clears throat> okay, so we left off uh, my first video. We did chapter one. Um, so we're going to begin in chapter two. Um, and right off, right off the bat, right off uh, the first verse, <clears throat> you see the title there. Excuse me. <clears throat> You see the title there? It's titled, um, The Lord's Future Reign. Um, so right away, I mean, we're, we're getting uh, eschatology here. We're getting uh, uh, end time events. So um, I'm just, without further ado, I'm just going to begin reading, okay? So um, hopefully everybody follows along. A amen. Okay, so it says, The Lord's Future Reign. This is a vision that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house will be the highest of all, the most important place on earth. It will be raised above the other hills, and people from all over the world will stream there to worship. People from many nations will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of Jacob's God. There he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his, in his paths. For the Lord's teaching will go out from Zion. His word will go out from Jerusalem. The Lord will meditate, well, I'm sorry, the Lord will mediate between nations and will settle eternity international disputes they will hammer their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks nation will no longer fight against nation nor train for war anymore that right there i, I love i love this uh i love the uh, the beginning of chapter two here i, I mean it tells us plainly what's going to be happening in in uh when the Lord comes to this earth, you know, and sets up the millennial reign here on earth, you know, it, it specifically in detail tells us, you know, it's so simple, you know, and, and I love it because this is what we have to hope for. This is our hope. This is our, our vision. Okay. And we must tell others about this because we, if we focus on the kingdom on the kingdom to come it's it's literal this is literal this is what's going on this is what's going to happen and so many so many believe no this is just the world that is it's you know i'm speaking in broad terms as far as like unbelievers 
you know they think this is all there is you know uh, live each day to the fullest because you know do whatever your heart desires because this is the only life we have well that's not true this this world is passing away and the Lord's word the Lord's word the, the Lord is telling us these things for a reason amen so I mean when I read this I'm like I could get a clear visual of, of the new uh, millennial reign here on earth of him teaching us he's gonna he says for the Lord's teaching will go out from Zion he's gonna be teaching the nations not just uh, those in, pro in close proximity he's gonna be teaching all the nations of the world how it's supposed to be done and how it, we're supposed to conduct our lives and uh, it's just gonna be a blessing you know and and for those who believe uh, in this lifetime and and uh, we'll receive our resurrected bodies amen and we're gonna be there we're gonna be learning we're going to be learning, okay, and teaching and judging, okay. So there's there's so much richness, um, and so yeah, uh, I just I could read this again and again, you know, over and over. Uh, but you you've seen it. I don't want to do that too much because maybe it gets on your nerves a little bit. But I just love his word. It says uh, uh, there there he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For the Lord's teaching will go out from Zion. From him himself, you know, his word will go out from Jerusalem. The Lord will mediate between nations. Okay, he's going to mediate between nations. He's going to he's going to teach them. He's going to mediate. He's going to show them this is how it's done. Amen. And he will settle international disputes. Imagine that. This is true peace. This is the peacemaker. This is the Lord, our our Lord God Almighty. Amen. And uh, he's going to, and it says, and will settle international disputes. If that's, you know, right now there's so many international disputes, right? I mean, so much going on in the news today, you know. So he's going to come back. He's going to settle all of it. He's going to judge, and he's going to come back and judge the nations. And he's going to settle all these international disputes that's going on. He's going to say, you know what? I needed to come. I need to show you how, how to run things, okay? Um he let us do it for a while and look what we've done look what we've done look what's going on in the news look what's going on in the world today look what we've done to his his earth that he created for us look what we've done amen so i know there's a lot to blame on the rebellious ones on uh, uh satan and uh his his minions okay i know there's a lot that has to do with them but he let us know about these fallen ones he let us know what they're up to about all the, the the immorality all the things that they've done to corrupt mankind he told us in his word he tells us that that's what their plan was that's what they're doing okay that's what they're still doing okay so he's telling us he's giving us a heads up he's saying look these are the evil ways and, and yes these are the evil ways that the fallen ones his fallen angels okay uh, 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 rebelled and taught mankind okay I'm letting you know they taught mankind this okay they taught you this now resist the enemy resist the enemy repent I want you uh, this is the way I live I know you're suffering in the body that you have now okay but it's going to change it'll be changed okay but I'm giving you a heads up in other words he's saying these demonic the ones that fell he let us know who they are who they are, Azazel, and, and if you go into deeper studies, he, he gave us names of who they are, the divine council, okay? He gave us a heads up. He's saying this is what they taught mankind. He made They made uh, uh, weapons of war. They taught this. They taught that, okay? And so now he's saying beware of those things. You know, they taught them to, to worship them, to, to, to worship false gods, okay? They portrayed themselves as gods, okay? Now, were they totally fake? No, as deities, there are fallen ones. There are fallen ones showing and teaching uh, humankind and, and, and having them uh, uh, worship them. Okay, but he let us know all this. He says, don't do that. Do this. Don't do that. There's going to be false deities. There's going to be false uh, idols. There's going to be false religions. There's going to be, he warned us of all these things. He says, just hold on. Hold on. Don't don't follow them. Don't follow what the world is teaching you. Don't do that. 
I'm here. I'm letting you know, okay, this is how it is. This is what I like. This is what I want you guys to do. This is how I want you to conduct your lives, okay? Uh, because he loves us and he wants to prepare us for the new heavens, the new earth, okay? He wants to prepare us for the millennial kingdom and hopefully we'll be those priests that are teaching those still, okay? For it says right here, the Lord's teaching will go out from Zion. Who do you suppose is going to be doing the, the, the teaching? He's preparing us. He's preparing us for that day, okay? Amen. So he wishes that none would perish, but that all would have everlasting life. Now, um, just a quick note, you know, a pastor, uh, well, a pastor yesterday, um, he actually, um, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go into it. I maybe because I, I am, because uh, if I said this in one of my videos, I want to clear it up. Okay. Um, I don't know because I, I just, for some reason, I saw it yesterday. It came out on my feed. Uh, it's by Michael Heiser. Um, it says there, there will be no rebellion in the new heavens and the new earth. Amen. I agree 100%. There will be no rebellion. There will be no uh, uh, fall again. Okay. It's not going to happen. No more. That's finality. The new heavens, the new earth. Now, in the millennial reign of the kingdom here on earth, Zechariah or Ze yeah, Zechariah 14 it, sa it says okay but it doesn't say there will be those that don't want to come up to worship or and the, the, then he's going to have to deal with them with, the, with certain plagues okay it's in chapter 14 of Zechariah we're going to be reading that uh, being that we're going through all the major and minor prophets amen so um, but what I'm saying is in those days when the Lord is here the, what we're talking about right now in the scripture when he's teaching there's going to be those, and I don't know exactly how that works, but he's not going to kill all the evil. Okay, there's going to be those who survive. I don't know exactly. I mean, I could freshen up because I could just, but I know that there's going to be those who still can rebel. Okay, because he's, because he's saying this. Um, Because he's saying this, I don't know if I was interrupted there. Um, I have to plug in my phone. It's it's the battery's going low on it. Uh, please bear with me. Um, um, just bear with me. I don't know if that was interrupted because it it got interrupted on my my uh, on my side. Okay, on my end. So hopefully it didn't it didn't cause too much. Uh, uh, it didn't break up too much. Uh, please forgive me. Okay, I gotta. I, I'm just recording off my phone, so um, hopefully that's straight. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Uh, like I said, I'm still working on my setup here. I'll get it down to a T. Okay, I'll get it down to to exactly how I want it. Okay. But anyhow. Um, so. Um, okay. Where was I? Uh, okay, so it's okay. So he's going to be teaching. There will be rebellion, uh, able to rebel in the millennial kingdom. Okay, now Michael Heiser's. I'm not even comparing myself to him. I mean, if you want to go much deeper into the scriptures, into the original manuscripts, into the original language. Uh, I, I, I highly recommend that you start learning, uh, go on to his uh, uh, website or listen to his podcast. I highly recommend him uh, because he goes into deep word studies, uh, just things that you would never imagine what the scriptures uh, really say, some, some scriptures. So, but uh, he did a video saying there will be no rebellion. And I kind of maybe thought I might have said that in one of my videos. Uh, about the rebellion, but I'm talking about the millennial reign because I read it for myself in Zechariah. You know, there will be those that choose not to come up to. Now, will it, does it say that they won't? Like it actually, there will be those or hopefully there won't be those. Okay. It doesn't indicate that they do rebel. It just says, now, now let me make that perfectly clear. It says if they do not want to participate to come up to 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 come up to uh, Mount Zion, okay, to come up to to uh, celebrate the feasts, 
okay, and to learn. In other words, because he's saying right here he's going to be teaching, we're going to be teaching, we're going to be there, okay, if they still refuse to come. It doesn't say they do refuse to come. It says if they refuse to come, then the plagues, those plagues which are spoken will be uh, uh, imposed on them. Okay, and it's it gets into pretty it's pretty nasty detail about their eyes being sucking into their to their sockets of their bodies and suffering and no water for them. Okay, so does the Lord is the Lord telling us there will be those it, 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 that will rebel that will not want to uh, still come up? He's he's indicating it. Okay. But let's hope there's not. Hope, hopefully there is none of those. Hopefully they'll see him for who he is. But I don't think so. I think there's still going to be rebellion. And because as we, as we continue to read, even in the book of Revelation, it tells us that um, they'll come up against those in, in the heavenly, uh, in, in, the, in the millennial reign. Okay, chapter, I think I believe it's 20 or 19, 20, 21. Uh, of Revelation, it says again, uh, Satan will be let loose for a while, okay, and 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 they'll and he'll go and gather all those from all four 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 winds, and then they'll come up and surround the holy city. Who will? Okay, so we got to know that 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 it will. It's going to grow again, but the only difference is it's going to grow wicked again. There's going to be wickedness again, okay, but the only difference is it's going to be. Uh, majority and the only difference is we're going to be there with the Lord God Almighty on earth with him okay we're going to be in our resurrected bodies okay in the millennial reign okay so in other words it's going to be way different than than what's going on now than than the the, the great tribulation okay it's going to be way different okay he might be let loose for a while satan will okay but th then they're gonna surround our thing and then the lord's gonna just take him out by fire with fire okay it's scriptural it says he's gonna take it's like boom they're they're fried fried okay then comes the new heavens the new earth and that's what heiser was speaking about there will be no rebellion in the new heavens and the new earth okay that's that's separate from from the millennial reign that's after the millennial reign it's it's all scriptural it's in, it's in uh the book of revelation amen so uh amen i just had to make that note okay uh being that i, I don't know if i said that in one of my videos but i want to clear that up okay um so amen so we're going to continue here uh i was in verse four it says the lord will mediate between nations and will settle international disputes they will hammer their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will no longer fight against nation, nor train for war anymore. Amen. Amen. You see this right here? If you go deeper also, <clears throat> those fallen ones, the, the, the angels that, that rebelled against God, they taught mankind to make weapons of war. That's where it, it derived from. They taught them about making them from steel. They taught them certain things because they had intelligence. They knew all these things. They taught them what they shouldn't have known. They exposed things, secrets they shouldn't have exposed to humankind, but they did it purposely because they wanted to corrupt mankind because they rebelled against God. Okay, so that's, that, 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 that comes out at me right there. It says they will hammer their swords into plowshares because it was never supposed to be meant that way. We, we weren't supposed to have weapons of wars of war. We weren't supposed to have all these deadly weapons. We weren't supposed to have guns, ammunition, uh, uh, rockets, missiles. We weren't supposed to have all this. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't how it was supposed to be. If you go back to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, okay, beautiful. Okay, uh, uh, before they fell, okay, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it was supposed to be. Okay, um, so the fallen ones, yes, they corrupted a lot of things, uh, but he's going to restore all that back the way it's supposed to be. Amen. Um, so I'm going to continue here. Amen. So <clears throat> it says, A warning of judgment. It says, Come, descendants of Jacob. Let us walk in the light of the Lord. For the Lord has rejected his people. 
the descendants of Jacob, because they have filled their land with practices from the east and with sorcerers, as the Philistines do. They have made alliances with pagans. Israel is full of silver and gold. There is no end to its treasures. Their land is, <clears throat> their land is full of war horses. There is no end to its chariots. Their land is full of idols. The people worship things they have made with their own hands. So now they will be humbled and all will be brought low. Do not forgive them. Crawl into the caves and the rocks. Hide in the dust from the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty. Human pride will be brought down and human arrogance will be humbled. Only the Lord will be exalted on that day of judgment. Again, we're, what day are we talking about still? Okay, we're talking about end times. Uh, again, I'm going to re reiterate what it's. What I wish I could show you on the prelude on the on the on the chat on the on the thing that before in my Bible where it said all these things already came to pass. I mean, come on now. We're in chapter two. Look at it. it says only the Lord will be exalted on the day of judgment. Now, any time I'm going to just say another thing that that helped me out. Anytime you see the day of the Lord, um, the day of judgment. The day of re, uh, recompense, um, the Lord's day, that all, all those line up with His coming. He's not going to come several times. The day of the Lord. Whenever you see that in the Bible, the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord, or the Lord's day, um, um, that right there it indicates it's talking about the day of the Lord. He's only going to come once, okay? And He's going to set up His millennial reign here on earth one time. He's not going to come two times, three times, okay? He came once. He was born of a virgin. He died and was crucified. He needed to do that, okay? And he says, I will return again, okay? When he returns again, it's only going to be one time. So every, whenever you see that, the day of the Lord, just it's usually it's in capitals, okay? But know that that's, that's what they're talking about. That's what the, the context is. That's what the text is, the, the context of whatever you're reading, okay? So... Amen. That, that helped me out a lot. Okay, it says, <clears throat> verse 12, For the day... I don't know. Hold on. I don't know. I don't think I... I don't think it's running. Hold on. I don't think it's running. Well, maybe it is. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just, I just kind of, I kind of, <laughs> I thought that, that the video was not running anymore, but it is. I got to double check. I just kind of said, oh, did I, did I just talk for the last five minutes and, and it wasn't recording? Uh, forgive me, okay? Uh, and I'll get back to this, okay? Uh, but yes, it is, it's still running. <laughs> okay, it says, okay, for the day, okay, uh, verse 12, uh, for the Lord of heaven's armies, has a day of reckoning. There it is. Day of reckoning. The day of reckoning. Okay. For the Lord of heaven's armies has a day of reckoning. He will punish. He will punish the proud and mighty. And bring down everything that is exalted. He will cut down the tall cedars of Lebanon. And all the mighty oaks of Bashan. He will level all the high mountains. And all the lofty hills. He will break down every high tower. And every fortified wall. He will destroy all the great trading ships and every magnificent vessel. Wow. It says, He will break down every high tower and every fortified wall. He will destroy all the great trading ships and every magnificent vessel. Human pride will be humbled. Human pride will be humbled, okay? And human arrogance. He doesn't like arrogance for not one bit. All and human, it says, and human arrogance will be brought down. Only the Lord will be exalted on that day of judgment. Oof. Amen. He's coming back. He's going to, he's, he's going to check. He's going to coming back, man. Amen. Okay. Verse 18. Idols will completely disappear. 
Amen. When the Lord rises to shake the earth, his enemies will crawl into holes in the ground. They will hide in caves in the rocks from the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty. On that day of judgment, they will abandon the gold and silver idols they, uh, they made for themselves to worship. They will leave their gods, small g, they will leave their gods to the rodents and bats while they crawl away into caverns and hide among the jagged rocks in the cliffs. They will try to escape the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty as he rises to shake the earth. Don't put your trust in mere humans. They are as frail as breath. What good are they? Amen. 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 Um, I know I get excited, but also uh, I kind of in my spirit right now, I shouldn't. I should. I got kind of convicted because, yes, all the evil and atrocities that are done, all the corruption going on in the world, all that stuff, all the evil, the rapes, the the, the, the immorality, all that going on, the rebelliousness, the, the evil, the wickedness, all that uh, disgusting things that are going on. Yes, we do want judgment, okay? But we don't rejoice in it as far as like, oh, yeah, look what you got. Look, you got what's coming, you know? Um, you know, their scripture says don't do that. Actually, the Lord tells us don't do that. If you pray against something wicked going on, okay, or if somebody is doing you wrong, okay, is actually, and you're a believer, and they're doing you wrong, and all of a sudden something, and he helps you, the Lord helps you, and something may happen to that person. Something may happen. We don't know if it's the Lord's doing, but all of a sudden, whoever is uh, mocking you or whoever's doing things to you, something happens to them, okay, you never rejoice, don't rejoice. Don't. Feel feel bad even. You don't want that to you don't want things to come upon a person. We're, we're not to think like that. We're not to believe like that. We're not to say, oh yeah, I got what's coming. As matter as bad as it was. Let the Lord deal with them. Let the Lord judge them. Let the Lord, if something comes upon somebody that you know that is doing wrong, you know, don't rejoice in that. Don't rejoice in that. Just even pray for him. Pray for him. Pray for her, whatever's going on. Forgiveness. Amen. Amen. So right now, when I was reading this, I was like, yeah, you know, yeah, I got kind of convicted. Because those that are, don't believe right now are going to go through this. They're going to go through this. Okay? And it's going to be devastating for them. And this is why we warn others. This is why we try to give the good news that they don't have to go through this. They don't have to, 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 to uh, experience this. This day of the Lord is coming. And things are lining up. As you as believers know this. If you're, if you're studying the scriptures. You're studying prophecy. You know these days are coming. You know things are lining up. In the Middle East. The Middle East beast. You know things are lining up. This neon city being built. All these things are lining up. If, you, if you're in the news and you're a Berean and you're studying end time prophecies, you see these things. You see where the beast is coming from. You see what they're about. Then that's why we got to warn others. Because these, these, these people, there's actually going to be those that are suffering judgment. The judgment and wrath of God. So we don't rejoice in it. We try, to, we try to warn them before it happens. We try to give them the good news. We try. We try. I know they don't listen. It gets frustrating. For me, it, it sometimes it gets frustrating, but not no more, really. Because if they want to listen to me, they listen. I, I plant the seeds. 
with people. I plant the seeds. And I tell them, this is going to happen. If you're a believer and you're claiming to be a believer and you believe in God, then this is His Word. This is His Word. He spoke through the prophets. This is going to happen in detail. And this is what He's trying to say. I spoke through my prophets and they killed this prophets. He's telling this to the world. That's why he said, go out into the world, make disciples. Tell them of these things. Tell them what I spoke through the prophets. Tell them that the day of reckoning is coming. So they don't have to go through this. Look what it says. On that day of judgment, they will abandon the gold and silver idols they made for themselves to worship. Worship who? False idols, false uh, their, 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 their things, okay? Their riches, they're idolizing them. Okay, different different ways of idolizing things, uh, of false gods. You know, they 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 uh, uh, their 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 wealth maybe, or whatever it is. But it's not them. It's not him that they're worshiping. It's not the Lord they're worshiping. It's not God they're worshiping. They rejected him. So look what they're gonna look. They will leave their gods to the rodents and bats while they crawl away in caverns. And hide among the jagged rocks in the cliffs. Imagine those who had everything. And they made them their idols. And they were living so good. But all their wealth. All their prosperity. They're living comfy, comfy lives. And they reject God. Because they, they, they put all their... Uh, 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 they put all their uh, focus and all their love, everything in their comfort. And then one day, the day of reckoning came. The day of judgment comes. Now they're, they're crawling away into caverns. It seems like they lost their stuff, huh? Whatever it was. And hide among the jagged rocks in the cliffs. They will try to escape the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty as he rises to shake the earth. This is not, this is not going to be no joke. That's the seriousness of what he spoke to the prophets. That's why we're also going through these, these, uh, this Bible study. I'm telling you, it's not just to learn knowledge, head knowledge. It's to tell others and show them these scriptures Show them, look, this is what's going to happen if you're alive on that day. And God forbid that you die today. Today's the day of salvation. Because you're going to be in judgment along with them when they die. In that place of judgment. The white throne judgment. Please forgive me if I spoke out of context there. The white throne judgment. Uh, um, anyhow. The second resurrection, um, amen, amen. I, I, I got, I threw myself off a little bit there. Um, they will, um, you want to be part of the first resurrection, amen. Um, but anyhow, anyhow, uh, excuse me, something threw me off. Um, kind of lost my train of thought there. But uh, yeah, we're going to finish this video now. Um, that was the end of chapter two. Okay, um, thank you for following along with me. Um, and, uh, just, I'll be looking forward to sharing chapter three tomorrow. Amen. So amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Uh, tell others about this Bible study. Okay. Tell others and, uh, and it's not live. Like I said, you could go, go through it on your own time and they're not too long. I think I only went, uh, well, 30, 34 minutes on this one, kind of long. So, uh, sorry. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to end this video now. Okay. Uh, go over the scriptures again if you want uh, and uh, join me tomorrow in my next video, okay? Uh, may the Lord bless you. Uh, may the Lord keep you. Uh, may the Lord make his face shine upon you. And uh, may the Lord be gracious to you and, and grant you peace. Shalom, okay? Um, I pray all these things in Yeshua's name. Bless your heart. Thank you for joining me. Amen.